outset to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Slammed into the wall. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical. Here we go, Cheryl. They're going to go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. Coming off a heated battle like that, it's important to allow those emotions to just simmer so they can cool off in the penalty box for five minutes, get some rest and some water. Both teams had a chance for a little reset as they step in for the faceoff. Michaels won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. The Flames have it from their own end. Juve's got it against the boards. Crisp's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Silverberg's taking it from his own end. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. And that's off target as it hits a body. Made the stop on that play. Look at this attack here in the ozone. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Here's a shot. Score! Quick hush to the crowd as the road team strikes. Well, when you set the tone to get on the board first, you take the crowd out of it. You silence the building, James. I don't think there's a single goaltender in the league that's going to catch up to that shot, James. I mean, the puck just explodes off the stick. The Wild have the game's first goal just minutes into this one. Well, and it's so different when you're playing with the lead versus playing without it, James, especially when you're in the away bar. Now you've silenced the crowd and you have all the momentum in your favor. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And he loses control of the puck. Sends it in on the attack. And he connects with the long ball. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Zeri. Uses the force on that hit. Puck grab by Tanev. Handles the pass. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Here's a short pass to Parisi. Quick snap! Denies him in close. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Minnesota's up one zip. Backlund's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Oh! 
Crisp's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he has been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And off the draw, they'll take possession. And he slides it quickly to Vanek. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Vanek. Plays the puck up ahead. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. He got all that one. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Now a quick pass to Johns. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Michael. Stars! Oh! There's 49! One from 50, Cheryl! Well, to say he's been a consistent performer and goal scorer would be an understatement, James. He is a natural talent. It's amazing what he can do, but the question is, what is he going to do next? The puck movement in the offensive zone is what opens up the seam and the set position of this one-timer, James. It's good movement, and then, of course, the one-timer, the weight transfer, and the great timing that it's able to finish it off. Number 49 on the year, and, you know, why stop at 49, right, Pounder? Oh, he's heading right to 50, isn't he? Scores! And they're cooking now! Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. That's just a fantastic goal, James, and it all happens because it's a transitional play. When you get in the fastest skater hands and you're playing off the rush, you can be so lethal, and that's a great pass as well. Just a perfect execution from start to finish. Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Michaels one possession. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Sends it quickly to Coleman. Knocked away with the stick by Prosser. Rocked him! And it's a quick pass to Michael. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Slides the puck across to Coleman. All alone! Denied by the goaltender. Break for the goaltender as it goes off the inside post and stays out. Backlund's the leader of this team, James. He knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face off and lead the charge. And now it's grabbed by Gostas Bear. He says, let's get physical on that play. Moves around along the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Costa Spare. And that was a good heads up read to make that save. Minnesota's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Denies him with the save. Picked up along the wall by Silverberg. That's using the body on the block. Shuts it down. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Silverberg's known for his 1T zone ability, and his teammates love setting him up for that lethal one timer when on the attack. Miller's well respected and a great competitor between the pipes. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have possession along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. 
Minnesota's got it along the wall. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Levels him with the hit. Scrum ensues along the boards. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Granlin. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And that banks off a stick. There's a collision with some authority. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Drives to the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. Loses his balance on the play. The Flames have it behind the cage. Quick pass across to Kadri. Great defensive effort with the stick. Johns is going to need some earmuffs to block out the noise. Scores! It's 50 on the season for the rookie! I forget that he's a rookie, James. He's got 50 now. He is elite of the elite, and that is not typical for a rookie. He's an impact player who continues to make a difference. The goaltender's trying to play the game of percentages here. He drops into the butterfly position, making himself as he possibly can. But guess what? There's a few inches. And to think not long ago, we were wondering if he was going to make the team. <laughs> it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Uh, you know that the contributions that skilled players can make, but when they enter the league, it's a completely different story. The pace is different. The physicality is different. He has answered the call in every area. appreciate it but man you got to find a way to generate offense and the only way you can is when you're on the ice and with the centers tied up he swoops in to take possession champions got it along the wing slides the puck down low calgary's got possession of the puck oh and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end and the puck leaves the zone trying to gain a step He's got it behind the cage. Musa quickly overtook Goss to spare. Oh, look! Oh, what a collision into the boards. And a smart hits up play to put that away by Niskanen. Takes a shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Minnesota's mindset needs to stay exactly the same as it was in the first period, James. They were intense, they were aggressive, they were hard on the puck, and they managed it. They managed the ozone possession time, and they executed a reason why they have a healthy lead. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. On the stick. Oh, no. they score. The pylon continues, Cheryl. Pursuit of the puck and just shut down the opposition at all ends. 
stay on his feet after that hit. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Look at that hit. Let yeah, you got a sense this was coming. That's a dangerous play, James, and you can't have any of that in the game, in particular when you're the one who's just received it. You got a player down, he's injured. You knew that was going to be answered for. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Tough to watch fighting, but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner, it creates a ton of momentum. Play set to resume here finally after a spirited scrap just moments ago. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Way too much congestion blocks that. Keeps him off. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. And they'll start with possession. Lowers the boob. Power forward can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Koivu's got it on the offensive end. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Markstrom. Lots of time left in this period. One-sided, lopsided, blowout, you name it. 5-0 is where we're sitting. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Manjapani's carrying it ahead. Fires it! Just slides it in. Moves it to Corbin. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. Knocked away by Silverberg. Puck picked up by Gostas Bear. Slides it across. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Handles the puck. Oh, a good heads up play with the poke kick. Made the stop on the play. Quick pass to Scandella. Hammers it on net. Comes up with the stop. Oh, it stops him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Warshaw's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here comes the goaltender to play the puck outside the crease. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Golodowski. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Slides it diagonally to Kane. And he takes the feed. And he loses control here. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Skates to the crease. Just stopped. Hashtag blocked. And some good footwork to kick it away. John has been so dangerous tonight. He wants that puck on his stick. He's got two goals already, and he's looking for the hat trick. The Flames have it now. Peltier's gained the line and on the attack. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Peltier's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Kulikov's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Taken by Parisi. Tries to the crease. How did he stop that one? Minnesota. 
Minnesota's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. The Flames win the draw. Grabbed along the board by Gustafson. Slides it over to Zeri. Breakaway! Oh, and the defender had a different idea there. Well, he thought he had it, but the defender comes in. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Nice job tying up his opponent. Calgary's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Snaps it on net, and that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And it's turned aside by Markstrom. Stops him again. Markstrom's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Quick feed to Lindholm. Takes the feed. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Padre's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Quick shot!
And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Calgary's got to get the puck, Jane. Scores! He put it into his own net! Well, how about this goal, James? It's a beauty as he dangles his way to the net. I mean, he doesn't have much speed, but he recognizes where his opponent is. He just manipulates them at will, and he cashes in. The Wild have shown no let up here in this third period, continuing to accelerate forward. When you look up at the scoreboard, it's lopsided, and for good reason, James. They've dominated the play. I mean, it has been tilted in one direction in their favor. They've known when to attack the net. They've been so strong on the puck, and you know that the coach is going to be thrilled with this one. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. And a good save on the play as action continues. Bufflin's got control of it now behind the cage. Looks to make a play over to Johns. Denied by the goaltender. He's so fast, he's strong, but he can turn on a dime. If he turns and you're just a step behind him, guess what? You're not getting back in and he's gonna take it to the paint. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Gustafson. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Take it along the wall by Tanev. The Flames pick up steam and are on the attack. And that's poked away. What a stop there. Quick pass over to Clinton. Poked away at center by Stillman. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toe. But that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. Silverberg's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Prosser. Scandella's moving it ahead. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Solid check to slow him down. Forces the turnover. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Puck grabbed by Vanek. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Rocks him on the play. Sent into the offensive zone. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Minnesota's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Here he is in close! Markstrom's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Minnesota's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Angles it over to Rosichka. Slides it across to Goligoski. Here's a chance! Comes up with a monster save in front. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Calgary's grabbed a hold of the puck. And close! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes a save. 
play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Gosses Bears taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Let's get the official decision. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. to try to kill off this penalty. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Playing big in the moment there. And there's another stop. Now a quick pass to Champion. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. Stillman's got the puck in his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Kadri. Receives the pass. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Padre's really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, you got the rare to hold on to that puck. I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. From point blank, he scores! And he completes the hat trick there! will play it from the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Manjapani. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Here's 
a chance. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Granlin's won the draw inside his own end. Minnesota's in transition. Shot! Big time save by Markstrom. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Flames take it across the blue line. Here's the pass! And it's blocked! Makes the save! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. A lot of people were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carla Bates standing by with her answer. Silverberg's been active in this game, and even though he has no points, I still think he's been more engaged. I'm giving him the edge tonight, guys. Prosser's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Vanek. And stops that big bomb. Moves it quickly over to Stillman. He carries the puck up along the wing. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Gains the zone from the right side. Great presence on the ice to knock that down. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Stillman. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Moves it to Prosser. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Works it across to Huberto. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Slides it over with pace to Corbu. Poked away by Costas Bear. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Koivu. Final seconds of this one, an absolute clunker performance by the home team, and the fans are letting them hear it. Here's a chance, and he denies that great opportunity there. And there's the final horn, bringing this one to an end. Michael's hat trick, the big difference tonight. Probably got himself a few new hats as well there, Cheryl. What a performance to put three goals past the tender at this level is certainly a feat, James. But every time the puck is on his stick, he knows exactly what to do with it. And that lethal shot, it was on display tonight. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.